During World War I, many new weapons appeared, such as submachine guns and poison gas bombs. The modern single-soldier flamethrower also emerged during this period. The Wex flamethrower from Germany is a representative model, known not only for its excellent performance but also for its unique, donut, shape. The Cleef was the first portable flamethrower used by the German army in the early stages of World War I. It featured a cylindrical fuel storage tank and a smaller container for propellant, usually compressed carbon dioxide or nitrogen. By applying pressure to the fuel, it flowed through a rubber hose, and the gun's igniter would then ignite it. Soldiers could adjust the pressure and thus the flame projection distance by using the valve on top of the tank. The fuel capacity was 19 liters, and the flame projection distance was roughly between 20 and 30 meters. Despite being portable, the equipment was quite heavy, weighing close to 32 kilograms when fully fueled. It was operated by a two-person team in combat, with one person carrying the equipment and the other handling the gun. The WEX was introduced in 1917, designed to replace the Cleef, although it did not completely do so during World War I. The principle remained the same, but it featured new containers and igniters, aligning more with the definition of portable. The WEX had a donut-shaped circular fuel storage container, reportedly made from car wheel rims. The donut could hold 10 liters of gasoline, with a spherical container in the middle storing compressed nitrogen. The fuel was also delivered through a rubber hose and used a new magnesium igniter. In terms of performance, the WEX had a smaller fuel capacity than its predecessor, with a flame projection distance of only 20 meters, making it less effective in combat. However, its real success was in its overall weight. While the German army still used a two-person team, the WEX, when fully fueled, weighed only 15 kilograms. This made it a truly single-soldier portable equipment. The Allied forces captured many WEX flamethrowers during the war and recognized its performance. Not only did they reuse it, but the British also produced their own version, called the AK Pack or No. 2 Portable Flamethrower. The AK Pack had improved performance, with the basic structure remaining unchanged. It had an 18 liter fuel capacity, higher launch pressure, and a range of up to 36 meters. The nozzle had front and rear pistol style grips, allowing it to be fired without igniting, dispersing more fuel onto the target, and then igniting the entire area. Over 7,000 AK packs were produced by the British during World War II. Although the AK pack's performance was improved, its overall weight increased to 29 kilograms, resulting in poorer performance in actual combat. During the Operation Elephant, where the Allied forces captured Kapel Shvir Island in World War II, some soldiers carrying the AK pack were killed due to their inconvenience during the operation.